<laughs> oh god, dark forces are approaching. Beware the evil spirits that gather at the stroke of midnight. Oh god. How cliche could that fortune teller be? Yeah, and how come a complete sweetheart like you got that ominous prediction? Well, I was basically handed the you'll meet a tall, dark, and handsome stranger one. No, I agree. That lady seemed to be a little too flimsy, if I'm going to be honest. Well, maybe the great spirits got us confused during the reading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that just goes to show that a crystal ball bought off Amazon isn't really a reliable source of information. Hmm? Well, yeah. You know, you, you could say that. I guess I am a skeptic. No. I, I don't really believe in the whole... Spirit world mumbo jumbo. I, I mean, there's no real evidence. What about the ghosts in your attic? What about them? <laughs> oh, now, come on. Now, we talked about this. Old houses make a lot. Of, old houses make a lot of noise. And I agree that. Yes, sometimes strange things happen without a logical explanation, like, uh, you know, door slamming, mirrors in the bathroom, fogging out for no reason, and your faucet being turned on, but that does not mean ghosts are real. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, the house is old and the plumbing is unreliable. Hmm. What is it? Oh no, come on, Wallflower, you can tell me. You still feel like someone's watching you when you're alone. Hey, did you look over the security camera installment papers I brought you? You did. And... Ghosts don't show up on camera. <sighs> Baby. Look, I hate the thought of you being uncomfortable in your own home. No, of course I do. Well, I'd stay over all the time, but I I know this is new and that you like your own space. And uh, I'll tell you what. I'll install that security system we were talking about, and if things don't calm down, you can always give me a call. I'll install that security system we were talking about, and if things don't calm down, well, you can always give me a call, okay? Yeah. Yeah, just give me a call and I'll be right over. No, it doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. It's no trouble. I live just a few hundred yards away, remember? And if that doesn't work, well, then... I guess we find a medium and get that old house of yours exercised. What if you become possessed? Oh, darling. I won't let that happen. Oh. Oh, so you don't believe that I control these things? Huh. That's why you'd rather you've gotten my fortune. Well, I'm coming here a little. <laughs> we can switch fortunes. You can have mine. Well, it doesn't work like that. Yes, it does. Because I say so. Mm. Mm. 
Um, but I'm warning you though, if you so much as try and run away with a tall, dark, and handsome stranger, I'll hunt you down. Oh yes, darling, I will. I have worked way too hard on being a part of your life to just let you disappear on me like that. Hmm, what'll I do when I catch you? Well, for starters, I have to get rid of the enemy because of protocol. But don't worry. I'll be merciful and make his death swift. <laughs> and then, uh... Well, then I'd have to find a way to punish you. <laughs> I can get really creative if you like. I'd, uh... Probably practice some rope tying on this delectable body. Maybe even give that pretty little ass of yours a thorough spanking. Hmm. What? What if I'm the tall, dark, and handsome stranger? Oh. Okay, easy there, Wallflower. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> but I, uh... I hope you don't see me as a stranger anymore. You know, considering all the time we've been spending together. Mm-hmm. A lot of time in your kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of time in your garden. And kitchen. And in the bedroom. I especially love the time that I spent with my face buried between your legs. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm, I won't. I won't. Oh, God, darling. You know, I can't resist the teasing you. You fluster so easily. Oh, I just want to take a bite. And, uh, did I mention how much I love that dress you're wearing? Mm. Oh, it's doing things to me, all right. Being able to see so much of your bare shoulders, that flowing fabric caressing your thighs, and... <laughs> all right, there you go, blushing again. All I did was pay my girl a compliment. Yeah, you heard me. You're my girl. And I will shower you with compliments and dirty sex until you self-combust. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Now, what do you say we check out these street vendors? I've seen you eye the candy apples all day. Come on. Uh, hey, uh, could I get a candy apple and a cherry soda for the lady, and, uh, I don't know, just a water for me? Alright. Thank you, sir. You have a lovely evening. Here you go. No, no, no need to thank me. It's my tree. You know, I swear, with a soft-spoken nature and all that politeness... I would think you were born and raised in the South. And don't get me started on your work ethic. Yeah, I, I never knew that selling flowers could be so cutthroat. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and when that old guy from the corner shop started to barter over that handmade mantelpiece, you handled it like a fucking drill sergeant. Fuck! I've never been so turned on in all my life. No, it's true. No, I never took you for a pushover, but seeing you get all fired up like that... I don't know. 
I just love seeing that part of you. <sighs> so, uh, how'd you find the small town life so far? Must be a big change for a city girl. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Well, you like the nature. How quiet it is. Yeah, well. I really wouldn't call this town quiet. Yeah, in comparison to a hot spot of traffic and a mass of people, I guess it is. But this place. This place. has its own loudness. Its own. Noise, I guess you call it. Well, everyone's so familiar here. Like, you can't walk down the street without being stopped or dragged into a conversation about this or that. And everyone is up in each other's business. But, you know, that's also what makes this place so charming. I think... I think it's like... A big, unconventional family. Oh, and you should have heard the gossip mill going when you first moved down here. Everyone was all about that mysterious girl renovating Mrs. Beaufort's place. And I swear the town committee had to talk down the local newspaper from camping outside your property and running an article on you. Well, how do I know? <laughs> Well, I overheard it in Sam's diner. You know, if I didn't know any better, it'd be disconcerting how uncomfortable you are by being the center of attention. But I really like seeing you coming out of your shell. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like a bud starting to bloom in spring. All that hidden color just bursting forth. Oh, no. No, I can take credit for that. No, beautiful, that's... That's all you. Hey, can I have some of that candy apple? Yeah, I know I said I don't like sweets, but seeing you eat it like that it makes me want to have a taste. No. No, don't just give it. I want you to feed it to me. No, no. No, not like that. With your mouth. Yeah, I'm being serious. Come on. I would really like it. <laughs> Nobody will care, I promise. Scout's on. Hmm. Good girl. Alright. Hmm. The apple, too. <sighs> all right, all right. Maybe I lied. Maybe people are looking a little, but then again. I was never a scout now, was I? Oh, is that so? You're going to make me swear in the flag from here on out. Well, fine, but... I'm going to keep the PDA going until you stop getting heart palpitations every time people turn their heads to look at you. I'm calling it exposure therapy. You don't think that'll happen? Mm, because I'm the one that's giving you those palpitations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... 
I can't say I'm too sorry about that. Look at this. I know it looks creepy, but that's the whole point. It's the Haunted Forest Trail. Seems like the production has gone up this year. Yeah, I mean those cut off body parts swinging from the branches that are a step up from last year's spaghetti intestines. You want to go inside? This actually looks promising. What do you mean as the oldest trick in the book? Oh, these things get... Oh, these things tend to be an excuse for the guy to keep his frightened girlfriend close. Alright, well, you know, maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice? Hmm? And I'll tuck you under my arm. Like this. Nice and close, see? And no ghost or monster will be able to get to you. What do you say? Hmm? Maybe there's even a reward for you at the end. 